So another month, Keto Crate and Keto Box. Let's see what's in these things. Let's start with the Keto Box. Especially since this is the one I can't look up ahead of time what's in it. So I like this one because I can see what's in it. As soon as the first of the month happens, this is online. I can see what's in it. The Keto Box, I like it because I never know what's coming. Interesting, I know. All right. I did look through this last night to see what was in it because I didn't want to wait any longer. So it's kind of out of order now. But the first thing we have is some Chalk Zero Keto Bark, dark chocolate with sea salt. Then we have Dream Fuel Mixed Berry. This is something I've never heard of, never seen, so I'm gonna look at it. So this bar has 240 calories, 15 fat, 20 carbs, nine fiber, that's 11 net carbs. Why is there something with 11 net carbs in here? Surely there's allulose or something to take that off. I don't see any sugar alcohols, let's see. Ingredients, cashew butter, almond butter, a protein blend of grass-fed whey protein concentrate and gas, free bovine collagen, chicory root fiber, cherries, soluble tapioca fiber, coconut oil, strawberries, goji berries, sunflower lecithin, natural flavors, sea salt, and stevia. Why is... I don't understand why this is in the keto crate. Or keto box, I mean. This isn't low carb. This is 20 carbs, nine fiber, and six sugar. So it's 11 net carbs and six of it's sugar from fruit. I don't know, I don't understand why that's in there. Next we have Genius Gourmet Keto Snack Chips, spicy nacho flavored. So these chips, we've had some of these chips, not spicy nacho, but they've been pretty good. Next we have the Nush Salted Caramel Cookie. These are, these are pretty decent. I like their cookies okay. Um, never actually bought their cookies. I like their pancakes and their little snack cakes better than this. Cause this tastes more like a, it doesn't really feel like a cookie to me. It feels like a, it's, it's like a cake, a cake style cookie maybe. Next we have two of these little, it's called Naughty, N-O-T-T-Y. So this one is cookies and cream, double stuffed cookie dough cup. And this one is classic double stuffed peanut butter cup. So this is something else I've never heard of. So I'm gonna have a look at the nutrition and ingredients. The full nutrition isn't, oh, there it is, it's under the thing. All right, so this cup has 70 calories, six fat, 10 total carbs, six fiber, one protein. And up here it has, it says 10 carbs, six fiber, four, al four allulose. So there's zero net carbs in it. But it has peanut butter, doesn't it? Let's see. Ingredients, non-GMO soluble corn fiber, uh, resistant dextrin. An allulose, peanut butter, which is peanuts and salt, sustainably sourced palm oil, cocoa butter, peanut flour, which is just peanuts, oat fiber, cocoa mass, refined coconut oil, salt, natural flavors, sunflower lecithin, monk fruit extract. That feels like pretty solid ingredients for me. Now let's look at this cookie, cookie and cream one and see what it's got. Because just because one item from a company or a product looks good ingredient wise and nutrition wise doesn't mean they all do. I've been burned on that before and I don't want that to happen again. This one also though, 10 carbs, four, six fiber, four allulose, so zero net carbs. Um, the first ingredient in this one's allulose. So you got allulose, non-GMO soluble corn fiber, uh, sustain, sustainably sourced palm oil, Dutch cocoa powder, cocoa butter, oat fiber, refined coconut oil, salt, natural flavors, sunflower lecithin, monk fruit extract. 
Um, I already went over the carbs. There's uh, 70 calories, one protein, and seven fat in that. Next. I got $10 off a $25 purchase on the back of this. As a coupon code with it. But this is the Snack House Keto Cereal. A couple of these have been pretty decent tasting. Um, this one's Cinnamon Swirl. I can't have it. I'm allergic to cinnamon. So this pack has nine carbs and eight of its allulose. I believe it's another milk protein isolate based cereal. Yep, first ingredient milk protein based. Out. So it's a milk protein isolate that they use to make the little crunchy balls, kind of like cereal school and a bunch of other stuff. And then they just flavor, flavor the balls. And I got a whole bunch of coupons. 10% off these, 50% off Dream Fuel, 20% off Good D's, 20% off Nush, 10% off Chalk Zero, 15% off some Jerky, 20% off Iota, 15% off Jimmy Bar, 25% off Gourmet, Genius Gourmet Chips, and $10 off Snack House Foods. So that may have spoiled what else is to come. Because next we have Iota, um, these are just pink Himalayan salted uh, roasted sunflower seeds. Then we have a Jimmy protein bar, just macadamia nut flavored. Seen those 20 times. Those are pretty high in fiber, so I don't eat very many of those. Um, I think jerky. This one is a free range turkey stick. Sending it out at holiday season, I guess, to get some more turkey in. Is there any carbs in this? This has one carb, and it looks like it's probably from the, uh, the seasoning to cure it because there's no sugar or anything in it. And then last, we have Good D's Blondies. So how many items is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, I'm gonna count these as two so they get 11 because it's completely different flavors. So 11 things in the keto box. Now on to the keto crate. The coupons for the keto crate are all online. Um, looks like there's a recipe for an iced, some iced brownies. It's usually inside this insert but it looks like they put the wrong recipe in here it says. Um, has Connie's success story, holiday flicks, and keto picks. So, so some options for stockings, uh, for movies and snacks. Yep, and there's the holiday brownies that they showed here, but they put the wrong recipe. All right, first, Keto Farms maple candied pecans. I've heard these are great. Um, they have cinnamon in them, so I can't have them. Kind of a bummer, because I was really excited when these first came out. Yep, they still have cinnamon, last ingredient. Next, one of my favorite cheeses actually, is those Intact Snacks Crunchy Black Pepper Cheese, so I'm gonna enjoy that. Next, we got some Ross Chocolates. I like Ross Chocolates. Um, this is dark chocolate thins with sea salt. So I will probably enjoy these as well because I like both dark chocolate and salted dark chocolate. Keto Wise Chocolate Pecan Clusters. We like these a lot. Jennifer will probably be the one that ends up eating these. Um, Good Sam, being an ally for small farms. Dark chocolate mint. I think I've still got the last one of these from like a year ago sitting in my cabinet or something because I don't like mint and nobody else in my like my wife doesn't want the dark chocolate. Better than foods keto chocolate crunch bar. Um I've had a couple of like the keto crunch bar type things. This one's way lighter. This one feels more like what an actual crunch or Nestle like a Nestle crunch bar or a crackle bar or whatever it would feel like. We'll see what's in it for the crunch. Chocolate liqueur, sweetener blend of erythritol, monk fruit, cocoa butter, dried whole milk protein, 
I'm sorry, dried whole milk powder, milk protein isolate, galact galactoglycerides, which is a prebiotic, vanilla extract, kosher salt. So they're using the milk protein isolate as their crunch. Next, we have hockey cookies. We love hockey cookies, but we have never had snickerdoodle because they're cinnamon. So again, something else that probably won't get eaten here. Next, we have some spicy dill flavored pork rinds from, I don't even see a company name. Unless the company name is Spicy Dill. And this one uses sunflower oil and maltodextrin in their ingredients. Next, similar to the other box, we have some Choc Zero uh, dark chocolate with sea salt with hazelnut. That's the same thing as in the other box. And last, Keto and Co fudge brownies. These brownies are kind of pricey, but they're really good. Um, I have a review on them somewhere on my channel. But this, uh, I was trying a lot of brownies. Brownies are one of my favorite desserts. Uh, as far as packaged brownies go, this may be my favorite um, taste-wise. The ones I make the most though are probably, um, and it's not like I make brownies very often, but the ones I've made used two or three times is saying the most are the Duncan Hines, but I make two boxes and I put some Lily's chocolate chips in them when I make them. But these, these are really good brownies. I bet they'd be better if you doubled it. I like using two boxes. So how many items is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. I only have ten items. Usually the Keto Crate has three or four things more than the Keto Box, but this time the Keto Box has one more than the Keto Crate. If you count those little cups as, as two. Now let's just try to put together a comparison. Pick a winner seems weird to me on this. Um, just because it's very, very, very opinionated. But let's see how many things we got that I'm excited to try from each box. Or things that I know that I like. First, they both have this. And they are exactly the same. Those are out. Both of them have some kind of crunchy chips. I don't know that I prefer either of these. Those are made with the wrong oil. I'm not the biggest fan of these, but these might be a little bit better. So Keto Box might have something a little bit better there for me. Um, this is cinnamon, I can't have it. This is cinnamon, I can't have it. This is mint, I don't want it. Cinnamon, can't have it. And I don't really care about either of these things. All of my kids do like these seeds. Um, but I almost never eat these. So I kind of got six on five here. These are the two of the bigger items from each. I've not had a whole lot of the good D stuff. I've liked the stuff I've had, but the Keto and Co. bake stuff is far. I mean, it is so good. I love this stuff. So Keto Crate wins in this comparison for me. Uh, even though I've not had these, I am excited to try them, but I know I'll absolutely love these. It's not like they're just okay brownies. <clears throat> Let's do cheese against beef. Because these are the only two non desserty things I have left. I'm taking this 100% Keto Crate. I love this cheese. This is a turkey stick, it's not even beef or pork. I'm just gonna toss this out. I don't even know why this is in here. Like I said, this this doesn't feel like it should be in a keto box or a keto crate or anywhere near something that says keto.
Now we got a Nush cookie. We'll get two things I've had. A Nush cookie and Keto Wise chocolate. I would probably pick this. My wife would probably pick this. This feels like a pretty even split. It's both things we've had before. I think I like the Keto box option a little bit better on this because I can buy this at GNC or something. This, I have to order a dozen of them to even get one. I can't just go buy one. This, I can just go buy one easily, which makes this a little bit more valuable to me because it's harder to come by. <clears throat> so now we got these two, two naughties left and we have a Keto Crunch bar and some lost chocolates. I know I like these, these are really good. Comparison of these, I think I would take these over this, um, even though both of these sound like really good options I wanna try. So I want to try all three of these things. I'm very happy with all three of these things. Um, but if I compare them like this, it's pretty even split, I think. I might like this a little bit more, which is the Keto Box. But then I have this left in the Keto Crate, um, kind of by itself. So this month for me, I think I like the Keto Crate better, even though they tried to throw me out. Even though they have less stuff than normal, I like the stuff they have more. But I also know that these cost like $11 or something. So <clears throat> they put a couple bigger items in here because they also got a whole bag of Shot Zero. Um, and Ross chocolates. They got a whole bag of like three things in it this month. So it's less stuff this month than I'm used to seeing. <clears throat> and they tried to throw cinnamon and mint and a whole bunch of stuff. But I still like the Keto Crate better than the Keto Box this month.